Hello, let us start our new video on the topic solution of differential equation. In our previous video, we are talking about the formation of differential equation, whereas in this video, we are talking about the solution. Let us start. What are linear difference equation? As we know, linear word is used for power 1. Same here. Linear difference equation are the difference equation of order 1. Okay. Means of highest power of degree 1. Okay. Let us, uh, let us take an example of this type of equation. Y n plus r k1 y n plus r minus 1. Means this is deducted by 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1. And this is our constant. Here gn k1, k2, k3 and kr are the constants. Whereas gn is a function of n. Or it is also an arbitrary constant. Okay. okay. If gn is 0. Means specially linear differential equation is said to be homogeneous. If gn is 0. If gn is not 0 then this is our non-homogeneous equation. We have to solve both homogeneous and non-homogeneous equation one by one. Firstly we are talking about the homogeneous differential equation. This type of equation can also be written as in the form of take y n plus r. y n plus r can be written as e raised to power r. Okay. y n plus 1 this is our general formula y n plus 1 is taken as e. Y e is shifting operator here means the value of y n shifts up to 1. Y of n plus 2 is e2, e square. Means this value of y n is shifted up to 2. E is shifting operator here. Okay. So this can also be written as e raised to power r, k1, e raised to power r minus 1 and so on, kr. And y n is taken as common. Okay. This is our this reform equation here e is shift operator shifting operator which is denoted by this okay now if we separate these terms this is our only the value of shifting operator is our auxiliary equation this is if this is supposed to be zero okay now we have to take some examples to solve homogeneous differential equation how can it be for it be solved let us take some examples firstly if auxiliary equation has distinct roots if the roots are not equal then the equation is written as in the form of this and if there are repeated roots like alpha then this is written as this for example we have to solve this difference equation okay this difference equation can be written as y n plus 2 means e2 minus 8 y n plus 1 is e plus here 1 y n equals to 0. Now this is in the form of this. So our auxiliary equation is 16e square minus 8e plus 1 equals to 0. Solve this equation by quadratic formula. I hope you know about that. d is b square minus 4ac. b is minus 8 here. Minus 4a is 16 here. The, power, the coefficient of highest power c is 1. As the general quadratic equation is this. Everyone know this. So this becomes 0 and we all know if d is 0 then roots are equal. So equal roots are minus b upon 2a, b is minus 8 here, 2a, 8 by 32 that is 1 by 4. As this is of degree 2, so there are 2 roots, 2 equal roots 1 by 4. So, the general solution of this equation for n repeated roots, general equation becomes yn is equal to c1 plus c2n into both the roots, means 1 by 4. Okay, where c1 and c2 are are 
arbitrary constraints. All right. Let us suppose we have to find the value of this. So this can be written as nine e square plus nine e two y. See. Y plus 2 can be written as E square. Y plus 1 can be written as E. So, our auxiliary equation is Auxiliary equation is 9E square plus 9E plus 2 equals to 0. Solve this equation. B square, that is 9 square minus 4AC. This becomes 9 for the 36 to the 72, that is 8, 9. So, E becomes minus B plus minus root D upon 2A. That is minus B plus minus root D upon 2A. A is 9 here. Minus 9 plus 3. Minus 6 by 18 is minus 1 by 3. Minus 9 minus 3 that is minus 12 by 18 which is 3 for the 12, 3 6 by 18, 2 to the 4, 2 3 are 6 that is minus 1 by 3 and minus 2 by 3. So the, now the equation becomes, the solutions becomes general solution is y in c1 plus C1 e raised to power n plus C2 b raised to power n. Alright, where C1 and C2 are arbitrary constants. As this is of a type non-repeating roots for non-repeating roots. As the given constant y0 is 1. If we substitute the value of n as 0, we get y as 1. So, substitute here n as 0. So, y0 becomes c1. This becomes n. Minus 1 by 3 raised to power 0 is 1. Plus, this also becomes c2. Next is y0 is 1. And next is if we put n is 1 n as 1, y1 becomes 1, put substitute here, n as 1, c1 minus 1 by 3 raised to power 1 plus c2 minus 2 by 3 raised to power 1, this becomes also 1. So this becomes c1 minus 2c2 by 3 as 1, this becomes c1 plus 2c2 equals to minus 3. <coughs> substitute, solve these two equations. These will be subtracted. This becomes <coughs> minus minus plus 3 and 1, 4. C2 becomes minus 4. And on substituting, C1 is 5. When we have the value of arbitrary constraint, now this becomes the particular solution. So substitute this value. This becomes. C1 as minus 5 plus 5 minus 1 by raised 3 is 5 and C2 is minus 4 minus 2 by raised 3 is 5. This is our particular solution. In our next video, we were we will talking about our non-homogeneous difference equation. Thank you.